Hello everyone, today I will guide you on how to create a product promotional video for your product using Stable Diffuse and Compuey. You might already know that there are currently many methods to create images and videos using AI, however, most of them are random, making it relatively difficult to control the output to meet specific requirements. Additionally, the final images often become distorted, especially in advertising images that require high accuracy in fonts or colors. Therefore, today I will guide you through a more precise method with relatively good output, helping the published video look better and more diverse than a static image or chaotic, hard-to-imagine video outputs. With this workflow, I have already set up the steps to make the process easier with the parameters. First, we will try with any image. I will try with this image of a motorcycle. Next, I will adjust the frame size of the lighting process to match the input image. Since this node is not in real-time mode, we need to adjust the size and some other things each time. I have also provided preset sizes here for convenience, making it easier to input various frame sizes. Then we will reactivate this new spline button. Now we will guide the lights using these spline paths, which have arrows indicating the start and end points. I will generate it to see the resulting video. And here is the result. You can also see that generating a video in this manner differs from traditional video blending with light. The video generated by AI integrates lighting through AI inference rather than being a simple composite. Now I will try with another product made of glass. You will clearly see the difference when using AI for lighting as well as the transparency it brings. In this node section, I have set up nodes to adjust for creating motion with an input image. It includes movements along the X and Y axes, zooming, and rotation. With min as the starting point and max as the end point, the frames will then run sequentially from the min number to the max number corresponding to that frame. Now I will readjust to change how the image moves to make it different from the previous video. Here is the result. You can also see how glass material displays differently when light passes through it, right? That's why using AI makes everything faster and much more realistic, and furthermore, it costs much less. Now I will test with several different samples so that you can easily compare the results with each other, not just with a specific object. As you can see, the light generated by AI is also very beautiful, isn't it? With some extensions, you can even create animations. I've experimented with many different approaches, but struggled to achieve good results. I was hesitant when choosing this workflow for publishing this time after trying out various workflows over time. In this workflow, I have certainly integrated many different extensions and made numerous adjustments to achieve stability and consistency. Like always, I will upload this workflow to my Patreon to serve paying members. If you like it, feel free to join and you can download this and many other workflows there. See you in the next video. Best of luck. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video. You're here with me.